Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you 11 home businesses you can start tomorrow because they're easy to start because they don't require a lot of work to get started. They're also easy to start because they don't require a lot of capital. You don't have to raise money from crowdfunding and investors to do these things. You don't have to spend a bunch of time creating products and creating big websites and stuff like that. These are easy to start, they are quick, and they can make you a lot of money. So the first one I recommend to you as far as home businesses you can start quickly is graphic design. Graphic design is very much in demand. It is something that machines will never really be able to replace at least for decades because it takes creativity is there's no science to graphic design we need arti artistic people to do these types of graphic designs and this applies to product labels packaging book covers and all kinds of different things so if you're good at say using Adobe Photoshop on your computer or you're good with just artistic abilities of all kinds you can make a lot of money doing this and you can start a business very quickly doing this few places I would sell these services if this is something you want to do Fiverr you kind of start out selling things for five dollars ten dollars fifteen dollars then you work your way up to selling for hundreds of dollars per service so a lot of graphic designers are on Fiverr because a lot of people go here for graphic design services especially they offer all kinds of freelance services but graphic design is one of the most popular and the site gets a ton of traffic so you could get a lot of customers but you could start out doing book covers for ebooks you could start out doing say images for presentations or blog posts and then work your way up to bigger things like apparel and product labels and things like that so Fiverr is a great place to sell graphic design services Upwork one of the top freelancing sites if you want to attract bigger clients that have bigger wallets then you want to go to Upwork you might have more professional competition people with big strong res resumes to compete against but your jobs will probably pay a lot more on Upwork you will have to spend some time um, working on your profile but that's it's you know you can get that done in an hour or two also 99 designs if you want to work with a company that's just nothing but graphic design and that's it instead of just an overall freelancing service 99 designs is a premium graphic design website where you buy their services um, their cheapest ones are hundreds of dollars so you attract very good customers that have lots of money and you compete with other graphic designers and based on what the customer is asking for if you win they use your design and you get paid a lot of a lot of money for doing it so this can be another great way to make money from graphic design online you can do truck wraps like this like a food truck you can do product labels packaging t-shirts websites all kinds of different stuff so if you want to sign up with 99designs to become a designer just go to the bottom of their home page and click become a designer and as a side note I'm gonna have all the links all the resources all the related content and show notes from this video on one page for you on selfmadesuccess.com you can find the link to that page in the video description so you can check that out after this video is over after you're done watching so you don't have to worry about taking all these notes and memorizing these websites and links and things that I mention throughout the video you can just find that stuff after on the show notes page the next thing you can look at that I would recommend is social media consulting this is something you can start out uh, doing pretty quickly Everybody needs social media consulting, especially when they get to where they don't have a lot of time to spend just social media marketing. We have Instagram, we have Twitter, we have Facebook. If you're good with those sites, you know what kind of content people like on those sites. You're good at building a following, building brands on those sites. Then 
that alone is a full-time job. So many companies are getting to where they hire somebody just for social media. Now, if you want to handle all of that, you might work for the company or you can be a consultant and have many different clients that are many different businesses and help them by giving them tips and analyzing what they're doing, giving them advice on what to fix and what to work on, things like that. So you're going to need the best tools if you want to do this. Obviously, social media marketing is in big demand and like I said, it's a full-time job just doing only social media now. So you need to have automation. You need to have tools that will make this easier and save you as much time as possible so you can make more money. JeffBolas.com is a great social media marketing site. I wouldn't, I don't want to just tell you to follow this site and that's it. You need to do that. Plus, I want you to check out this post specifically called the 17 best social media management tools. So these tools will help you automate posting and scheduling and checking messages all in one place with, with like Buffer and Hootsuite. You have Agora Plus, you have Social Oomph. Oomph. Social Oomph is great for a lot of different things. You have um, all kinds of different services on here that help you track links, track clicks like Bitly, uh, help you with analytics, help you with all kinds of different things that you need for social media just to make your job a little easier um, and even get more followers. There's all kinds of different tools on here and a lot of the best ones I've used are on this list. That's why I recommend you read it. So that'll be in the show notes. And of course, social media consulting is something you can sell on Fiverr. I think you would do better on Upwork for consulting type stuff because you're going to have hiring clients. Number three, freelance writing is great. Of course, you can sell this on Fiverr and Upwork and any other freelance website, but there are also many websites that pay by the blog post, for instance. So Make a Living Writing is a website dedicated to helping people who write, but there is a great post on this site called Earn Money Online, 92 websites that pay writers $50 plus, and that is per post. So you might want to check out this post here. I'll have a link to that in the show notes as well, but it mentions all the top sites, different categories, or just overall industries that pay for you to write blog posts for them. So writing, of course, is one thing that is going to be really hard to replace people with machines. So good writing is going to always be in demand. It's an art. It's something you have to be creative at. You have to be good at, you know, just vo putting your voice into words on a page. And if you're good at that, you can make good money from freelancing and from working with these other sites on here. Number four, a YouTube channel. You can start a YouTube channel. Of course, you can make millions of dollars on YouTube now. You can look at people like PewDiePie or Jenna Marbles or even Roberto Blake. I don't know how much he makes. Probably not millions, but I'm sure he makes really good money as well. He has a lot of stuff on YouTube. But there's all kinds of different YouTube channels, whether it's entertainment, whether it's business, whether it's tutorials. And these channels that get lots of views and lots of subscribers make a lot of money. So there's also other sites that you can post your videos. So if you start a free YouTube channel, you want to upload your first video up here, go to the top right corner, click upload. All you have to do is have a Gmail account. But if you want to repurpose those videos and post them elsewhere where you can make even more money, then you can post those same videos also on Daily Motion and Vimeo. Those are two very popular video sites as well where you can upload your videos. And you don't have to make one unique for these other sites. You can use the same one on all three to get more traffic. So you can make money from ads. You can make money from affiliate marketing. Um, most people just do YouTube monetization. You can do paid videos on Vimeo and you can do 
ad monetization on daily motion like you do on YouTube. So that's when you make money off ads. But that'll open up all kinds of opportunities for you if you get popular. Also, I have a video that you can check out on my channel, which is Justin Bryant, called 13 YouTube Channel Ideas You Can Make Money From. So I did this video in late 2016, but that doesn't mean it doesn't apply today because the top ways to make a YouTube channel, the top categories of YouTube channels has never changed. It's always been pretty much the same since the start of YouTube and will pretty much always be the same. So 13 different types of YouTube channels that you can make money from. Check out that video if you're into starting a video channel to make money. Number five, you can become a virtual assistant. So this is basically when uh, you don't want to worry about if your skills are better than other people's. You don't want to worry about um, competing against others just to sell your services and stuff. Virtual assistants basically just take a list of instructions or instructions via Skype or however you communicate with your clients and you carry them out when they want you to. So you're basically like a employee in a way, but you can be their employee, you can work in more of a freelance role, or you can work with a virtual assistant firm where you basically work with a group of other virtual assistants. So this way, if you want to take a vacation or something, your client doesn't have to suffer because there are other virtual assistants you work with that can take your place when you're on vacation. So you can do st uh, virtual assistant work with, say, taskbullet.com is one place you can do this. Of course, Upwork is another popular place to find virtual assistants. You can be anywhere in the world and get a virtual assistant. There's been a lot of people in the U.S., for instance, that get virtual assistants in India or even the Philippines. There's all kinds of opportunities for these type of workers online now that are worldwide. And many entrepreneurs are getting to where they're just over, overloaded with work and need people to do tedious uh, easier tasks for them through outsourcing. So Upwork is great. I wouldn't recommend Fiverr. It's kind of, it's not really built for virtual assistants, really. I would say Upwork and a site that's dedicated to virtual assistants like TaskBullet. If you want a guide on how to become a virtual assistant that goes very in-depth into what it takes and things like that, you can go to amylynnandrews.com and the website how to or the page how to become a virtual assistant it's a great quick read that'll kind of give you the basics number six you can do listing services so many people think oh well I could do real estate well, yeah that's gonna be hard to get into that's gonna cost you some money it's gonna cost you a lot of time where you could get into selling cars you could be a car dealer yeah that could make you a lot of money but there's a lot of competition and you got to get the proper licensing, you got to get the car lot, you have to do a lot of different things to sell real estate, cars, and things like that. Instead of doing that, there's an easier way because of the internet now, you can do listing services. So you can list cars, list real estate, list other types of products online, just about anything people want to sell. You can list it for them and just charge a flat fee or a percentage of the cost of the product. So if you're good with sites like Zillow, maybe you want to sell land for people, maybe you want to sell houses for people. If you're good with eBay, maybe you can, I mean, you can sell pretty much anything you want on eBay. Um, if you're good at listing, you're good at writing copy and getting people to buy stuff on sites like these, getting people interested. Even Craigslist is another, but, um, if you're good at getting stuff sold, no matter what it is, you can sell your service as a product lister and get either a percentage, maybe you charge 5%, 10%, or you can charge a flat fee. So depending on what you're selling for people, try to make it as justifiable as possible. You don't, you don't want to overcharge for your services. But 
this can be an easy business to start and it can make you a lot of money if you kind of get some templates, get some good um, automation going and get to where you can list things quickly and effectively and get things sold for people. Number seven, transcription services. So one easy business to get into is transcribing audio into words. So many YouTube channels, many podcasters, people like that, um, people doing big presentations, um, even journalists need transcriptions of interviews. Transcriptions or transcribing services are really in demand all the time because really technology has not figured it out yet. We have YouTube and these other sites that do automatic transcriptions for videos, but it's just not something that you can just let it do it by itself with a machine. They still need people to do the punctuation, to make complete sentences out of interviews and things like that to, its, to where it's actually readable. So Fiverr is a great place to sell transcription services. Um, it's not usually a super high-end service, so many people might go to Fiverr for that. You can do Upwork as well, but um, or you may do both. But another place that you can sell transcription services is Transcribe Me. You can join as a transcriptionist up here. Just click this button in the top right corner, and you can get paid for just turning audio from videos and other t forms of audio into words on a page. So you're helping a lot of businesses out, and you can get paid to do it. It's an easy job. All you have to do is listen and type. So if you want to do that, if you want an easy business that's easy to start, that you can do very quickly, transcribing is a great option. Another thing you can do is coaching. And coaching is a more personal type of business. So if you're good with people, if you're good at helping people reach their goals, whether it's with relationships, whether it's with business, or something else, maybe it's sports. Um, you can use the internet, you can use all kinds of forms of communication through the internet like Skype or Google Voice or Google Hangouts or social media, however you want to do it. There's all kinds of different ways that you can do personal coaching now. And you would have a probably small group of clients that you talk to each week that you grade on performance and help tweak different things to develop their skills. So if you want to do this, of course you can sell your coaching on freelance sites. It's probably not something people search for that much because really it's more of a personal brand type thing. So you would really want to get your own website. Um, I'll talk about websites and blogs here in a minute more, but you can also uh, display your expertise on a YouTube channel or some other type of video channel or podcast to where you just kind of show people that you know what you're talking about by doing just different videos about different topics related to your coaching industry and you can have a link for people to hire you and get a consultation but if you want a couple of the best tutorials from people who make lots of money from coaching online one I recommend is on entrepreneursjourney.com. That's entrepreneurs-journey.com. So you can go there and it's called Jessica Nazaralia or Nazarali. How to start coaching online and make $257,000 in your first year of business. So it's actually a podcast episode, but it's a great listen. You can go through that. There's a little bit of notes from the podcast on here but you want to listen to the whole thing to get the most value out of it and that will help you kind of get an idea of how somebody who's actually done this and been very successful at it making over six figures as an online coach how they operate what you can do and the best tips for getting started also another entrepreneur that's very good at coaching that's been doing it a long time is Stephen James. You can find him at smart or not smart passive income, but 
Um, you can find him at project projectlifemastery.com um, and he has a post called exactly how I make over forty thousand dollars per month online and this is the coaching and consulting part six so he makes money online from doing different things but coaching and consulting is a big chunk of it so he talks about how he does this he does it in through video through writing and things like that to help you consume the information how you like but it's a very in-depth post on how to go about coaching, where to get started, and what it really takes to build that clientele and things like that. So those two posts I would recommend if you want to get into any kind of coaching online. Number nine is blogging. So you can start a blog. There are a lot of different ways to make money from a blog. In fact, it's probably one of the most valuable assets to any business these days and if you want to start a blog you don't necessarily even have to be a good writer you can use a blog and post videos on it you can post your podcast episodes on it many people just use it for the notes for their other forms of content so you can even post your social media posts on your blog it's just your own personal place for posting your content for your brand so you are in charge of your blog. If Facebook does a crazy update and messes up your traffic, it doesn't matter because your blog is owned and operated by you and your team. So what you say goes on your blog. And there are many different ways to monetize this blog. So one thing I want to show you here is this with Neil Patel. It's eight powerful ways to monetize a blog that generates under 1,000 visitors per day. So when you're starting out, you're not going to have a whole lot of visitors. So you can start a blog tomorrow, but there are actually ways to make money very quickly from your blog, even in your first week. So he talks about those types of things that don't require ridiculous amounts of traffic to make money from with your blog. And this is from Neil Patel. This is somebody who knows more about blogging than just about anybody. So you can learn a lot from him and neilpatel.com. But he talks about coaching. He talks about um, selling your own courses and doing all kinds of things, freelance work. And if you read through that, it's going to be one of the most in-depth posts you've ever read on this subject. So it'll really help you out. Also, if you want to start a blog, you need to pick the right platform. So you have um, a great resource here at WPBeginner.com called How to Choose the Best Blogging Platform in 2017 Compared. So they compare 10 different places to start a blog. Um, WordPress, of course, that's the one I usually recommend. And I actually have a place on SelfMadeSuccess.com in the top menu called Start a Blog. You can go there if you want to set up a blog very cheap, very quickly. Uh, it's like $3 a month. It'll cost you with hosting and everything, but uh, WordPress gives you the most options. There's also Blogger, Tumblr, Medium, and others as well. You can't even post blog posts on other guest blogs, or you can post them on LinkedIn Pulse. So if you have a LinkedIn social media profile, which is free to have, you can actually post blog posts on there now without even having to own your own blog. So it kind of depends on what you want to do, but um, that will compare all the top blogging platforms for getting started and help you figure out which one makes the most sense. Number 10, affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is always a popular choice for starting businesses these, these days because you can sell other people's products, meaning you don't have to worry too much about customer support. You don't have to spend all that time creating a product, creating a sales process, creating an email list and all this type of stuff that takes a long time. You don't have to worry about getting hundreds of thousands of people to uh, look at the product to get sales and things like that or getting other affiliates to sell the product for you. There's a lot of headaches that go into creating your own products. That's why I'm not mentioning that in this video. But affiliate marketing is something you can get started as soon as today or tomorrow. All you do is you sign up with one of the top 
affiliate marketing websites, which if you go to my YouTube channel, which you're probably already on right now, but you can go to the video called Top 10 Best Affiliate Marketing Websites 2016. Still applies to 2017 as well and will apply many years in the future because these are the top affiliate marketing sites that have been around a long time, that are the most established, that have the most traffic. So these are the best programs for promoting other people's stuff and getting commissions from it. If you want to do affiliate marketing, check out these top sites. There's 10 of them right there. And if you want to learn from somebody who's really good at affiliate marketing, um, you might want to check out Pat Flynn. He's somebody that has made money from affiliate marketing a long time. He has started a very successful podcast and things like that. But affiliate marketing is kind of how he got started. Now you can see, if you go to his website, he lists his earnings. He's made um, about $150,000 a month now. So he knows what he's doing and affiliate marketing is one of his uh, best skills. So you can check out this podcast episode on his blog, smartpassiveincome.com called SPI 186, how to become a successful affiliate marketer. So that will give you some ideas. Um, you can also check out kind of how he uses his resource page. Resource pages in many cases are for um, products that the blogger uses. Like if you look at his resource page, he will have many of the products he's used in the past and things like that. And in many cases, he gets affiliate income from these. So he's not just recommending these because he makes money from them, but he actually uses them. But when you use a product and you like it, you should check and see if there's an affiliate offer just like Pat Flynn does because it can help you make more money and then you can put it on a resource page like this on your site like he does. But make sure you check out that podcast episode. I'll have a link to it in the video notes. Last but not least, number 11, network marketing is another thing you can get started pretty quickly. No matter what company you're with, uh, no matter who your sponsor is, network marketing is something that can make you a lot of money if you pick a good company that you care about, that you believe in. So first, you need to pick the right company. But as a side note, if you're not sure what network marketing is, it's basically like affiliate marketing with, with sponsorships. So not only are you earning commissions selling products from the company, but you are making commissions also from recruiting people and the sales that they make. So when those people sign up to sell products, you also make money from the product sales that they get, not just the product sales you get. So you can kind of, it's almost like building a small organization within an organization. So if you want to find a good network marketing company, you need to go to MLMrankings.com where they compare all the top most popular um, network marketing companies, pretty much any market network marketing company you can think of will be on here from Avon to Beachbody to Advocare, Herbalife, Mary Kay, I'm sure Amway is on here as well. Some of the ones that you've probably heard of that have been around for decades, they're all on here, even the new ones. So you can compare them, see what kind of products they sell. Don't get in a network marketing company that sells something you don't care about. So if you hate fitness, don't get involved with Beachbody. <laughs> it wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't be something that you would want to keep doing and you'd probably just quit. So if you're passionate about makeup, go with something like Mary Kay. If you're passionate about um, cooking, go with something like Pampered Chef. You know, Do something that you know something about that you're passionate about. Also, if you want to learn from somebody and get lots of uh, quick simple tips to help you as a network marketer from somebody who's made a lot of money doing this um, for years. You can go to Eric War's YouTube channel called Eric War Dash Network Marketing Pro. And he does a video just about every day giving some kind of tips for network marketers. So this applies to whatever company you're in and there's a lot of valuable advice there. He also has a book you can check out as well. But 
Um, if you want to w learn from a network marketer, he's one of the guys I would recommend for sure. And he has a lot of free content you can look at. So other than that, if you enjoyed the video, if you feel like you got something from it, if you feel like you learned something maybe um, or found some resources that you didn't know about, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if there are some other ways to um, start a business as soon as tomorrow, that's very easy, very quick to get started that I didn't mention. Or if you want to just let me know what you thought about the video in general, let me know about those in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'm looking for feedback to make these videos better all the time, to make them more valuable to you. So let me know what you think there. And like I said earlier in the video, all the video notes, all the related content, and all of the resources and links that I mentioned in this video, all of that will be in one place on selfmadesuccess.com. You can find a link to that page for this video in the first couple sentences of the video description. So that will help you get the most out of this video. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day.